of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Praise be to Him, the sustainer, the creator of mankind. I begin in His name. I begin in the name of Allah. And I send my peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy progeny. And I send my condolences to the Imam of my time. May Allah hasten the reappearance of my master, Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadar. We took a journey and you are still with me on my journey, insha'Allah. This journey is through time. We narrated to you some fada'il of the names of Fatima to Zahra. We narrated to you the meanings of the names that Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, carries. We narrated to you that no matter how much we keep narrating about the fada'il of Fatima to Zahra, we will never reach a full cognizant understanding of Fatima, peace be upon her. But we will keep narrating to you so that the musibah, the tragedy, when you hear it, and I'm repeating, I know I'm repeating, when you hear the tragedy, it will affect you even more. You see, there are many manaqib I can narrate to you about Fatima al Zahra. And I promise to you that I will narrate to you two manaqib, two reports. The first report is concerning the testimony of Adam, our father, peace be upon him, and what he saw of the radiance and light of Fatima al Zahra. And the second report will show you the maqam and the status of Fatima al Zahra in the eyes of Amir al Mu'mineen, the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him. We will start with the first report. And inshallah, we will continue on and see how much time we have to narrate to you the second report. This report is recorded by Ibn Khulawai in his book Kitab al-Al. The Isnad of this report, since the Isnad is very short and it is narrated from Imam al-Hasan al-Askari about Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Isnad is not very long, the chain of transmission is very short. From Abdullah ibn al-Halabi, from Muhammad ibn Ahmad ibn Khudaha from Abdullah ibn Muhammad from Aba Muhammad al-Hasan al-Askari al-Hasan al-Askari from his father Imam al-Hadi Imam al-Hadi from his father from his forefathers all the way to the commander of the faithful peace be upon him from Rasulullah peace be upon him and his holy family for narrators to a holy Imam it is hard to find a mat'ana it is hard to find error in this isnad from Al-Hasan Al-Askari all the way to Rasulullah the Apostle of Allah peace be upon him and his holy family the isnad the chain of transmission is golden some of the sources that have recorded this tradition. I always provide my sources and I always liked to give my viewers the actual Nas. That is why I always read the Nas so that I may not narrate to you a summary of the narration. Reading the Nas in its entirety provides you a closeness, provides you an even closeness to the Hadith. You will find this hadith in Kashf al Ghumma, volume 1, page 456. And again, Bihar al Anwar, volume 43, the volume that Allama al Majlisi has compiled for the sake of Fatima. Volume 43, page 52. And also, you will find it in Al Muhtadar or 
أو سقاد مختصر بصائر الدرجات أب الحسن ابن سليمان الحلي Page 232 Pay close attention to this hadith This hadith is very beautiful The hadith by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says لما خلق الله آدم وحواء تبختر بالجنة He says when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam and Hawa, they began walking in paradise in a very proud fashion. Imagine two people walking and they were very proud in what they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon them. Of course, at that time around them, there is nobody. There is nobody but them. Of course, Adam, peace be upon him, knows there is a creation out there. Adam then says, Adam says to Hawa, وَمَا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ خَلْقًا هُوَ أَحْسَنُ مِنَّا He says, Allah, he tells Eve, Allah has not fashioned a creation better than us. Adam says this, but Adam is a ma'soom and he knows this knowledge. The, the ulama, the scholars, the jurors say this is almost like an enactment. See, if Adam did not utter these words, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have told Jibra'il to go to Adam and take him so that this image may be received by us. The same way when Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in the Quran came and said, Al Qamaru Rabbi wa Shamsu Rabbi and Nujumu Rabbi. The sun and the moon and the stars are my Lord. He is giving them an expression, majazi, a storyline, telling them everything that you see in this creation is my Rabb. The same thing here, a lot of our, a lot of times the hadith that we have are almost like a play. A place set forth by the infallible prophet or the imam. And this play merely is so that this picture can be received by us. So after Adam said to Hawa that Allah has not fashioned a, crea a creation greater than ours, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Jibra'il. He said to Jibra'il, أَأْتِي بِعَبْدِي لِلْفِرْدَوْسِ الْأَعْلَى he tells him, Ya Jibra'il, my archangel Gabriel, peace be upon him, bring Adam towards the Firdaus al-A'la so that I may show him there is a creation that I have created that is far greater than you, O Adam. He says, وَعِنْدَمَا دَخَلَ Adam الفردوس الأعلى رَأَى جارية. وَعَلَىٰ رَأْسِهَا تَاجٌ مِنْ نُورٍ وَفِي أُذُنَيْهَا قُرْطَانِ مِنْ نُورٍ وَجْهُهَا يَتَلَأْلَأْ Adam has painted for you a picture of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her. Let me read you the exact words of Adam. When Adam entered the highest level of paradise, Prophet Adam had laid his eyes on a young lady, a young maiden in the prime of her youth. She was covered in a veil that covered her from top to bottom. The material of the veil was of the heavens. She was sitting on a platform and on her head a crown made of light and on her ears two earrings shining made of light and the noor from her face filled the entirety of the heavens. Adam alayhi salam says her noor filled the jinan, jam'ah, the plural form of paradise. How many and how big is paradise that the noor of this young maiden fills the entirety of Allah's paradise 
with light. Adam, peace be upon him, our father Adam, goes to Gabriel and tells him, Habibi Jibra'il, man hadhihi al-jariya? Who is this? He goes to Gabriel, he goes to the archangel Gabriel and he tells them, My love, my beloved Gabriel, who is this maiden? Who is this maiden that from her the light has filled the heavens? Gabriel tells Adam, he says, This is Fatima bintu Muhammad the daughter of the Prophet from your progeny who will be sent forth in the last of the eras. Adam has laid eyes upon this transcendent being, this Hawra in Siya, a creation of the heavens sent down on earth. Then he says, Ya Jibra'il, wa ma hadha al-taj al-ladhi ala ra'siha? Jibra'il says, answering the question of Adam, what is this crown that is on her head? He says, this is her husband Ali ibn Abi Talib. What are the earrings? Two earrings in her eyes shining with light. He says, these two earrings are her sons Al Hassan and Al Hussein? Adam alayhi salam asks a question. He says, O oh Gabriel, have they been created before me? Jibra'il says, They are alive, already created in Allah's vast knowledge, created 40,000 years ago. And this is when the poet begins to write. A poet by the name of Sa'im Chisti or Kisti in a book titled Al Batul, page 356 357, begins to narrate a piece of poetry that has been written from the tongue of Adam. From the house of Fatima is divine wilayat authority. From the house of Fatima is leadership, Imamat. From the house of Fatima is Shahadat, martyrdom. From the house of Fatima is fidelity, Sadaqat. From the house of Fatima is good fortune, Sa'adat. From the house of Fatima is valor, Shaja'at. From the house of Fatima is guidance, Hidayat. From the house of Fatima is dominion, Siyadat from the house of Fatima is nobleness, Asalat. From the house of Fatima is vice regency, Niyabat. From the house of Fatima is munificence, Karamat. From the house of Fatima is compassion, Rahmat. From the house of Fatima is comfort, Rahat. From the house of Fatima is intercession, Shafa'at. From the house of Fatima is paradise, Jannat. From the house of Fatima is prophecy, Nabuwat. From the house of Fatima is the message, Risalat. Fatima to Zahra, peace be upon her, embodies all of these characteristics and more. And this is what Adam, peace be upon him, saw in the upper heavens. And this is all the time we have for you today. And inshallah, the next hadith will be in a different episode. Now that you have a closer understanding of who Fatima al Zahra, peace be upon her, is, look at the steps of Fatima and think of the door and the nail. Peace be upon you, my lady Fatima. And may Allah hasten the reappearance of Imam al Mahdi al Muntadar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.